Welcome back to part three, The Long Dark. I know I said we'd pick it up in the morning here, but I stepped outside after doing some of those repairs and noticed that the blizzard had passed. So what I think we're going to do instead of sleeping is make our way over to the Jackrabbit Island and the cabin over there. I'm going to hit some of the fishing huts on the way. I think this one out here, um, we'll do it in the morning after we, we have a sleep. I am encumbered at the moment, which we can very quickly deal with. What is this? A wolf over there. Uh, I've got like more than 10 pieces of coal so we can drop that stuff. I think this is a trunk that washed up. This is a first for me. Should be able to walk straight out here, right? Nice. It's not awesome, but we'll take it. Small wins. As you can see, we don't have many layers yet. Uh, it's not super cold out. Here's what I'm thinking. We've got up oh, got a guy over here. Corpse. Uh, maybe we hit the the lookout tower. Let me think about that one. I know there's also like a a trailer. Okay. I was thinking about maybe picking up a rabbit or two. Those are pretty easy right there, but I don't think we're gonna be spending a ton of time. Yeah, really, really kind of a waste. I wonder what this is. Another guy. Is it? Kinda looks like an animal at the moment. Man, this is like every fishing hut has had a hook. Weird-looking person. Oop. I'm gonna pass on that. We're encumbered. We're a little heavy. We won't risk it. Okay, so yeah, maybe... Oh my gosh, what is that? That was close, too. We got lucky there. Just kind of keep my eyes out for wolves. I think we have plenty of sticks, like 20 sticks. This looks like an animal too. I think it is. I think there's a wolf. Hmm. 
I know without forging, coming across a wolf. We might do it. I might set up uh, here in the cabin. And then it only takes an hour, so maybe. Uh, I don't know, we still got a long way to walk and pelts aren't light. Good thing is there's plenty of rabbits around here. And the rabbits are good. Like distractions for wolves. Yeah. Look at that. So many marine flares. That gives us confidence to go into like uh, territories with the timber wolves. So what we'll do here is make a little cache. There's a, um, I don't know, like a little closet in the bedroom where I think we're gonna store most of our stuff and that way we can explore quickly a lot more of the region. We'll do that most of the day tomorrow. Return here, collect all that. And then it'll probably Probably be another two days before we're thinking about getting out of here. Moving on. Okay, we're not finding a whole lot in here, are we? Antibiotics. Always a good find. Nice. Don't harvest that. That's the rule. Kind of a little throwback to season one. Um, I think that's the inside layer, actually, so maybe we should switch these. Thought we'd have more stuff here. Okay. Get rid of some of this heavy stuff. Oh my gosh, we have so much. So much worthless things. Probably only need to start... You say that. My books will come back and get... I do like to keep food on me. Uh, just because you don't know, sometimes you get hunkered down. Weather can change, or there's a bear outside, and I don't like to be put to a situation where... Oh. One second, my dog's barking now.
I don't like to be put in that position where, you know, we've got to risk things for the sake of finding food or whatever. Okay, what time is it? Hmm. Now we could probably craft. Hoping we have a little bit more of that. Huh. Does this stay until you actually rest? I know we had that. That was when we were at the, um, I don't know what to call it, the garage. Okay, I'm going to repair that one more time just because we have so much cloth here. Nice, 82 on a windbreaker. I don't see a ton of people uh, fixing up windbreakers unless it's early game like this. All right. Here's another risk. Um, walking up that stream towards that cabin that I was talking about earlier, there's going to be a lot of cattails. I'm not worried about, like, hanging on to any food. Like, right away. Alright. I think what we do is maybe hit... We'll shoot for nine. Got an Aurora. I could eat anything. Just because there's so much wildlife out here, I was thinking about getting an early start, but. I don't think we're going to risk that. Okay, let's see what we can do. What are we, 24? So much wood. We could drop that, though. That's pretty, pretty easy to replace. I mean, maybe we can... Throw some of these flares in there. Definitely some of those. If it's super cold outside, we might just uh, start a fire and warm some stuff up. Don't need that many stones. I usually like to have three. Because rabbits usually come in twos. And then an extra one in case a wolf comes by. Yeah. Plenty of water at the moment. Actually, we don't need this uh, scrap metal. And I do like to carry cloth just in case we get attacked or anything. All right. Double checking this. Missed it before.
Karen Curtin's honestly just trying to get through the night without uh, fast forwarding the game. And then we'll store all these these pieces of cloth. Again, like I said, we're just gonna make like a little cache. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. What do you need? Five? Five pieces of cloth to to make a snow shelter? Pretty sure. Looks like the sun's coming up. Okay. So because the aurora is over, step outside, see what the weather's like. No, aurora is not over, but I think. Okay, it was the other house. You gonna say I used to like create fires? Oh no, it's right here. I think you can create a fire right here. And I think this is a invisible barrier where a wolf can't get in. But let me just see if I could even place this here. Yeah, I can. Okay, so better safe than sorry, right? Is we can put a fire right there and just go in and out of the house. And that will ensure no wolves come over here. Come through the uh, railing onto the porch area. Come on. Did I lose it? Now that I got a torch going, it says you can't do it. No, there it was. Look what's right beside me, by the way. I would have completely missed that if we didn't start a fire right here. Standard tools. So hungry. Simple tools. Um, I like to keep one. We're gonna make uh, make some of these rose hips. I like to keep one simple and one uh, whatever the red ones are advanced because you they can fix each other. We only had one rose hip. Nice. Really. need to go by weight that thermos is actually not that heavy okay still pretty cold out it out for now I guess I mean we got toilet in here has water we don't really need we don't really need to cook anything I think we're just gonna wait guys 
Unless this is a blizzard. Do need to find another sewing kit. I'll hang out here. What is? Oh, okay. I saw the equipment container kind of transfer. Okay, so you can't, you have to actually transfer this out and then drink it. I was hoping you could just drink it right out of that thermos. Uh, I'm not confident in the weather. We have nothing to do here. I, I guess we could read. Got a bunch of food. Just wait for the weather to um, clear up a little bit before we head out. Thought I saw something right here. Guess not. Okay, what do we have? I'm not going to be doing any archery or fishing. Maybe our sewing primer. one more. Then we'll just hang on to it in case we need to start a fire. Man, I could eat anything. Okay, yeah. Okay, that should be out. But our visibility is getting pretty low. There's a wolf down there. What a terrible day. It's so cold. Visibility's crap. Wolves everywhere. That sounds like a blizzard coming. We're going to run low on food here shortly. We're just going to make it happen. Come in here and snag this water. Even putting it down. Well, is that that was a good five hours since we've filled the thermos up, right? And it's cold. Okay. But well, I didn't get an exact number on that. I know it'll last more than an hour. At least an hour. We need to try to do some research. Oh, man. We might be traveling during the night.
10 hours of research. Sheesh. Still sounds like the wind's going, right? There it is. That was the end of that. Keep moving. There we go. Just in case that wolf decided to move up here. There he is. Not really excited to like mess with that. Not really excited to mess with that. Does he already sense us? Okay, but these three, three or four cabins over here, that's going to be our last stop before we head to that bridge and take the stream up towards the transition point into Mystery Lake. But that right there, you can still kind of see it in the distance. Little watchtower. Be honest, I can't remember anything like crazy good being there. But. You know, like I said, we don't, I don't know how, how many, uh, once we get like settled, how often we might come back here. Might as well just check it. It could be something simple like a, a pair of socks. Some gloves. I'd be alright with that. Okay, so I gotta remember there's two fishing huts that we haven't searched. Okay, and I think I think we're gonna be able to make it up there today. It's clearing up, it's actually warm out. The big thing is gonna be getting around any wolves in the area. And if that moose is still hanging around. And I thought there were some trailers over here. Like one or two trailers. that there is a trailer there's a wolf too I don't know if he's gonna why are we risking this gotta be smart Okay, it looks like it's one trailer. Not multiple. And a couple burnt out. He barking at us. Take this opportunity to scare him away. I think. Hey! I don't lie, that scared me. 
Heart's pumping a little bit. All for this piece of cloth. <laughs> Can you imagine? If we would have got attacked by that wolf, I think we would have survived. Docks. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for. It's the little things. Another marine flare. we got through it. I'm gonna keep the torch on us. I think we've got several pieces of coal. I don't want to lose sight of our goal. Our goal right now is the overlook tower. And I know these there's a bear up here. I know because I've taken them down. How many torches do we have? Not a whole lot. Hopefully we can get there in three. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think... I think I might have to climb this. Because I think that just goes... I don't think this goes up anywhere. The way I need it to. Yeah, I actually shot a bear, like, one of my big memories, like, right outside of here. And I, I end up camping up here for, like, three days as I harvested that thing. See that soda? Can we get it? Come on now. What's the trick here? Dang. Oh, there it was. We could use this. Nice. I think that's going to be it. I'm pretty sure the lookout tower has a bed. can't remember coming across one that didn't. I 
Uh, I take that back. So Forlorn Muskeg, I have made trips up to, like, look at towers. They end up being, like, radio towers and no building inside. And that was kind of a waste. So this is early playthroughs, you know, I was heading up there thinking, okay, if I take a lot of condition damage, I'll be able to sleep and be warm when I'm up there. Was not the case. Okay, where which way is it? Once you get up here, you can't really tell. I don't want to burn too much daylight just kind of walking around. Okay, little shout out to Angie Fairbanks. There it is. An oak tree. First one I found. Miss Run. Angie is our uh, expedition team botanist. She's also our tea expert. Constant reminder to just drop tea. You don't have to eat them up one at a time. Pretty sure there's a little stove in here. My plan is to get a fire going and kind of replenish some of these torches. Oh, do we? Picked a long way around. Book. What's going on with this? Okay, let's get this started. No, I've got plenty of sticks. We can make more tender if we need to. Perfect. Ooh, I should have. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I should have saw what time of day it was before I started a fire. I think that's no we need a heavy hammer don't we to make grounds out of this 
Oh my. We're fine. Okay, with it being okay, it's close. Not cold out yet. Like another oak tree. The sun is setting. Gonna get a lot colder soon. I'm gonna heat these up. Maybe we can make it back to Jackrabbit Island. If not, we'll just head down into the. Town. A little town that's down there. We'll sleep there. Continue on our journey. Oop. Actually throw like some coal in here so we can get some good torches. Dude, what are these? I guess. I guess that one's okay. There we go. Oh no, man. One more. Last chance. Fine. We're good. We got a handful of uh, 25ers. Why am I always taking a long way here? Where am I missing? Oh, here it is. Okay, the reason I'm going to travel when it's getting a little darker here. Ooh, you know what we should do? Keep that hot. Uh, it's clear. It's not super cold. Can't really go with that. Probably can. Uh, I don't have the confidence. We just picked up antiseptic, so we're not going to need the old man's beard right away. I don't remember I'm trying to just remember the path down, fastest path down. That isn't like require a ton of skill. I think this this one's it. I don't think this one's it. Well, gotta go now. Yeah, look at that. We should have just took the long way. Can you imagine if we just... Oh my gosh, no. We gotta, we gotta weigh down. Imagine if we had to, like, call it quits on the game because I don't have any pain stuff. This I do. I got the rose hips. But anyways, what I'm saying, imagine that we are uh, had too much fall damage. I had to call it quits right now. I think there's a picture or something on one of these. No. Sewing kit. I'm surprised I'm remembering so much. Like, oh my gosh, it's been so long since 
I've been through some of these regions. I completely forgot about these cabins, by the way. But I had that feeling, that gut feeling, that we go down near the lookout tower. I think that's it. Maybe we take one book. We looked in this. We did. And on the shelves. We did. Okay. Check the next one. Have we found anything in here? In either one of these cabins? I don't think we have. Shoes. Which will break those down. I could just peek over the edge here. Oh, here's the wind. Peek over the edge. I'm heading over there. Um, let's just continue down. Safer way. Quit playing around. Quit hurting ourselves. That, uh, that torch blew out. I was hoping that it'd be cold enough that we would, uh, drink some of our rose hip tea, which would get rid of the pain and keep us warm, but it's not like that cold out yet. Looking for shortcuts. But I'm not willing to risk it. Okay, let's just, uh, how about we just go to where the torches are? Instead of searching through the main menu. The category. But that's the word I'm looking for. Hey, we know there's a wolf hanging around this area. We scared him off once. I'm going to try and get to the road. Make a hard right. And then cross the ice. Where we have, like, good visual. I think we're going to be walking into the wind here. We are. Bummer. If we do cross paths with a wolf, I think it's getting windy enough that I might pop a... A flare right after. Remember in Milton last season, we threw our torch down. Pretty confident we were going to scare a wolf away. And the wolf attacked us. 
Um, so when we threw the the torch down, it was still lit. By the time the wolf ran over to us, he didn't care. Luckily, we survived that one. That's going to be the big change for this run is I'm going to try to always stay prepared and not get overconfident. Try to always have a flare closer. Bow and arrow. You know, common places where wolves attack and injure game prematurely. And we don't have a whole... We don't have a long way to go, so I don't think I need the hot rose hip tea. There's a wolf over there. And I think this is actually too steep. Come on. I think it's too steep to walk up this. I could be wrong, though. I love the visuals on this game. Okay, we'll try it. We will try it. Is that the cabin? That's the cabin. Ugh. The stomach sound. Stomach rumbling. Thought it was wolf. What do we have? A crowbar to protect ourselves at the moment? Better than nothing. All right, we made it. Okay, guys. Back to Jackrabbit Island. We checked out the major points here on Coastal Highway um, that I wanted to check out before we start making our way out. So the plan tomorrow, we're going to sleep here tonight, obviously. We're going to head to those three cabins. From there, hopefully the weather's working with us. From there, we are going to go up the creek. Uh, we've got a cabin. If If we don't take too much damage, we are going to keep on going through the transition point across the railroads into Mystery Lake. If we do run into issues with weather, we're going to camp at that little cabin uh, up the stream. That's the plan. That's where we're going to pick up. That's where we're going to do episode number four. I can't wait to do this with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining. We will chat with you on the next episode.